Thank you to Warby Parker for sponsoring today's video. I'll be sharing later in the video my home try on kit and I will have a link in the description box below if you guys wanna get your free home try on kit as well. Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. So today I thought I would share a morning routine with you. This is what a normal morning looks like for me when I work from home. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Jen. I am a full-time working mom. I have two kids and a husband. And here on this channel, I just like to show real life as a working mom. It has been a long time since I have filmed one of these morning routines. In fact, the last time I think I filmed one, I was still working at a job where I had to commute almost two hours a day so my life has been changed for the better with primarily working from home now and it is such a blessing to me so I start out my day by letting the dog out and making some coffee most mornings I do try to wake up around 5 30 or 6 if I'm really really tired I, I sleep till 7 but I do like to try and get up a little bit before my work day so that I can make coffee and get ready and have some time to just relax a little bit before the craziness sets in. So this morning I decided to make a pot of coffee. Sometimes I do that when I know that I'm going to want more than one cup and I want it to stay warm. So I am using some coffee that I got from my trade subscription. It's called Greater Goods Coffee Company. I really love trying different kinds and while my coffee is brewing, I am watching one of my YouTube friends and colleagues, Zachary Michael. He just made a video about a twisty misty. So I had to <laughs> watch that this morning. Next, I'm going to get some water Water and I'm going to take my greens and my vitamins. I do this each morning for not only my gut health, but also to get some more of those micronutrients in just in case I don't get all of my veggies in during the day because we all know that happens. So I just shake it up with some cold water, just about a teaspoon, and then I'm going to go out on the porch and just sit for a little bit while I drink that and my coffee brews. Even though it's summer here, it's actually really nice this morning. It was about 75 degrees. So I just sat out here on the porch and pet the dog for <laughs> a little bit. One thing that I do try to do is to get outside a little bit every morning, even if it's just for like five minutes. There is evidence that shows that if you get outside in the morning and the sunlight you know, hits the back of your retina, that that helps you wake up. And so the other things that help you wake up in the morning are movement, and hydration. So I get my hydration in with my greens and I typically go either sit out on the porch or on the deck. And then with movement, I usually don't like to exercise in the morning. I don't know how you guys feel, but I normally like to do it in the evenings after supper. That's when it's the easiest for me. So now my coffee is done brewing. So I'm just going to pour myself a cup. This was really good coffee. And I always just take my coffee with half and half, unless I'm having like a cold brew from Starbucks or something like that. That. sometimes I'll put a little bit of sweetener in it but normally when I drink it at home it's just coffee with half and half and at this point I'm gonna go out on my back deck and water my plants we have not gotten any rain in quite a few weeks so I need to make sure that I'm watering these every day I do have herbs out on my deck two pots of those and then I also have some hibiscus as well so now I'm just going to take maybe about five minutes and sit out here on the deck and check my emails and social media. You can see that I still have my pajamas on, so I haven't quite gotten ready yet, but I normally like to do this just so I can kind of get a fresh start for the day. I have a separate email address for my YouTube channel and all of those related things, so it's really easy for me to kind of keep those things separate. Normally in the morning, I will check that, and then I will also go and check my social media, mostly Instagram. One of the things I really, really try to do is to keep up with my Instagram direct messages. It is sometimes a little bit overwhelming to <laughs> try and answer them all. So if any of you have DM'd me on Instagram and I have not responded, I do apologize for that. But right now on Instagram, I am at inbox zero. So if you do message me on Instagram, I will definitely do my best to reply to you. I like talking to you guys. I actually just kind of posted some stuff on my story this week, some articles I was reading about working moms and maternity leave in the United States and what a terrible situation that we are in and so behind in relation to other countries. And some of you guys sent me the best stories. So I'm going to share those on my Instagram. If you want to follow me, it's just Jen Chapin. 
The other thing that I'll sometimes do in the mornings while I drink my coffee just for five or 10 minutes is to do some planning either in Asana, which is a system that I use for electronic goal setting and planning, but I also have a paper planner that I use to keep track of you know, what I need to do and our family's schedule as well. If you have not started either planning digitally or on paper, I would definitely encourage you to do so. I know that just last night, I actually spent about an hour going through and updating all of my calendars and all of my due dates and everything. And it's really helpful for me to do that because it sort of gives me like a sense of peace and makes me kind of have a better mind frame about what goals I have to accomplish and overall I just feel more organized. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do before I go upstairs and get ready is just to unload the dishwasher really quick of the clean dishes. I'll put those away and then I will get started on loading the dishwasher with dirty dishes. I don't always do this in the morning. I try to if I have time because as you know, it is summer now and of course the kids are home and eating snacks and whatever and making dirty dishes all day long. So if I can start out the day with a clean sink, that is honestly like goals for me. Like I said it doesn't always happen but it's nice when it does okay so I got all the dirty dishes loaded I'm just going to start the dishwasher and then I will go upstairs to get ready for the day Okay, so I like to start out in the morning by giving my face a little bit of a refresh. I do take a shower at night and I do most of my skincare and wash my face at night. So in the morning, I just like to use some micellar water to just kind of wipe my face off and wake me up a little bit. Next, I'm going to put some moisturizer on. On this particular day, I'm actually going to be taking the kids to the pool in the afternoon. I took vacation and they are super excited about that. So normally I would put sunscreen on, but today I'm actually going to wait until we go to the pool because I will be putting more on my face at that point. One of the reasons why I really like taking a shower at night, not just because it relaxes me and helps get me ready for bed and I think helps me sleep better, but I also like to wash my hair at night so that that way in the morning it's dry, it has time to air dry throughout the night and then I can just straighten it. My hair is long and thick and so if I were to blow dry it every day, it honestly takes too long, it makes me super sweaty and I probably just wouldn't do it. So I normally just section my hair, I take half of it, put it up and then I will straighten straighten the bottom half before I put my makeup on. I normally try to wait and put my actual clothes on for the day until after I put on my makeup. If you guys have ever put on your blush and your powder while you're wearing a black shirt, you know what I mean. So today I didn't really feel like wearing a lot of makeup, so I'm just going to use some of this tinted blurring primer from Tula. It's one of my favorites. It basically kind of comes out of the bottle clear, and then as you rub it on your skin, it just gives you a little bit of color. I personally like this, especially on work from home days, because it's not like I'm really gonna be physically around anyone. Mostly I'm just gonna be on <laughs> webcam all day. So as long as I have my mascara on and some lip color, I look pretty put together. I am gonna put a little bit of powder on and a little bit of blush just to set the makeup. All right, next I have to have some help drawing on my eyebrows because I am blonde and my eyebrows are super light. I have never taken the leap to get my eyebrows, I don't even know what the term is, threaded, tattooed, I don't know. I don't know anything about makeup, you guys. And so I just use an eyebrow pencil and then I use some gel to kind of shape them the way I want them. Most of the time I'm wearing glasses anyway, but it just makes me look a little bit better when I have those done. Next, I'm just going to put a little bit of lip gloss on and then I will put some color on my lips before I'm done. I am going to put just a little bit of eyeshadow on today. Not a ton. I don't like super dark eyeshadow. I just don't feel it looks right with, with my face. Maybe I just don't know how to do makeup all that well, but I just got this palette in my Ipsy bag and I like it a lot. It's different than what I normally wear. It's kind of more like pinks and reds. So I'm going to put on some of that and then I will put on my mascara. My very favorite mascara is from Thrive Cosmetics. There's also a really great one from Clarins that I like as well, but I do have to have mascara so that I at least look like I'm alive. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of color on my lips. At this point in the morning, it's a little after seven. This morning, I'm gonna start my work day at about 7.30, and my kids are still asleep because they stay up later during the summer, so they normally sleep till around 9.30, sometimes 10. All right, so now that my makeup is done, I went ahead and put my shirt on that I'm gonna wear for the day. I am gonna wear a cardigan over this as well. This tank top is actually from Torrid's Pride Collection this year. It says, love is love. I love it. I love the love is love. <laughs> Shirt. So I'm just gonna straighten the top portion of my hair. Some days I do use like a texture spray or a dry shampoo, but most of the time I find I don't need it and I just straighten and put a little hairspray on. So if you guys have been watching me for any amount of time, you know that I love glasses and I love Warby Parker. I actually started buying their glasses before they sponsored my videos here on YouTube. So I can definitely say from personal experience that I love their service. If you're not familiar with Warby, Parker they are committed to providing exceptional vision care online and they also have stores as well but they offer eyeglasses sunglasses eye exams and contact lenses the awesome thing is that their glasses start at just $95 including prescription lenses you can also get sunglasses progressives and blue light lenses are also available so I'm gonna go ahead and try on my five pairs I'm actually looking for a pair that kind of have more of the metal stems on them like the pieces that go behind your ears. I find that those are really comfortable. The great thing about Warby Parker too is that they have an online quiz that you can take and it kind of will steer you in the right direction in terms of which frames will look best on you. They also have an app that you can use to digitally try on glasses, which is super fun. One thing I would mention too is that they have different widths of frames. So if you're trying them for the first time, I would recommend kind of ordering a few different ones to see which ones fit you the best. Personally, I have a large head and so I have to get the wide frames, but they have a ton of different options and you guys know all of the glasses I wear are from them. So from personal experience, I really love them. They're great quality. I love that you can just go online and order. It gets sent straight to your door and you don't even have to go anywhere it's fantastic so if you guys want to try Warby Parker's free home try-on program you can order five pairs of glasses to try at home for free for five days and there is no obligation to buy they ship free and they also include a prepaid return shipping label you can get your five pairs of glasses for your home try-on for free at warbyparker.com slash Jen once again, the link is warbyparker.com slash Jen. I'll have that linked in the description box below if you guys want to try it out. So now that I have tried on my glasses, I think I'm actually gonna go with the second pair that I tried on. I'm going to put on my earrings and then it is time to log on to my computer and get to work. I actually had a call right at 7.30 this morning. I do work with people from all different time zones, so that part of this job is kind of interesting to kind of take into account the people on the West Coast. So, you know, when it's 7.30 here in Iowa, it's actually 5.30 for them on the West Coast. So we do have to take that into account when we're scheduling meetings, but I'm in central time, and so I kind of have the best of both worlds in terms of not having things too early and not having things too late. So this is my second cup of coffee for the day. And after this, I will be going downstairs to make breakfast on my break. And I'll also make breakfast for Connor as well. All right, so this morning I am going to make some toast for Connor. I also had some hard boiled eggs in the refrigerator that I had prepped. So I'm gonna make him some toast, some hard boiled eggs and some apple with peanut butter. So I just have these pink lady apples that I'm going to cut up. We always keep apples in the house. That's one of my kids' favorite snacks is apples and peanut butter or banana and peanut butter. So I'm going to put those on the plate along with some peanut butter. And then I'm giving him two hard boiled eggs that I will sprinkle with with salt and some buttered toast as well. This is a really good breakfast for kids that's not full of sugar. They do get a little bit of sweetness from the apple and peanut butter, but overall a lot of good carbs, good fiber, and good protein to keep them full throughout the morning. And then before I go back upstairs to my office, I'm going to make myself some breakfast. So this morning I thought that a breakfast sandwich sounded good. So I'm going to toast an English muffin. And you guys have seen me use this microwave egg cooker before. I know some people like gasp at the thought of cooking an egg 
in the microwave, but honestly, it does work really well. All I do is crack an egg in there. I add some salt. I put the lid on it to vent it and I cook it for 45 seconds and it is a perfectly cooked round egg. So while the egg is finishing in the microwave, I am going to place some cheese on my English muffin. I am using this, uh, I think it's called California smoked provolone from Cracker Barrel, which is really good. If you ever see it, I put a few pieces of ham on there and that is it. Just a simple breakfast sandwich this morning that really hit the spot. I'm also going to have a banana with this. I've been trying to get more fruits and vegetables in lately. So anytime I can have fruit or veggie on the side, I've been trying to do that. So I'm going to eat one of those with a little bit of almond butter. This was a really good breakfast. would definitely recommend it. And if you guys wonder where I got these black and white polka dotted plates at, they are from Walmart. They are my new favorite. I will try to find a link and link them down below. All right. So now that I have my breakfast uh, fixed, I'm going to go back upstairs and get to work for the rest of the morning. I am really bad about not taking breaks and just eating at my desk. You know, there have been times where I take a break on my lunch and go for a walk or something like that. I need to get better about doing that more consistently. Sometimes I do ride my soul cycle bike while I'm sitting on a meeting if it's something that I just have to listen to. But I think when you have like a sedentary job, you have to get really creative about how you get your movement and your steps in. Otherwise, it's super easy to just not do it. Anyone else relate to that? So one of the comments or questions that I get is, do you sleep? And yes, I wanted to reassure you guys that I do sleep. Here is my sleep progression over the past few days, you can see. So usually on the weekend, I sleep more like Monday, well, which would have been Sunday into Monday night, or I'm sorry, Sunday night into Monday morning. I got seven hours of sleep. Saturday into Sunday morning, I got almost eight hours of sleep. Friday evening, actually, I didn't wear my Fitbit, but then I ended up taking a nap on Saturday so it tracked that. So yeah, I would say, I mean, this night was not very good. I got about five hours, but normally I aim for like six and a half to seven hours of sleep. And that feels about right to me. I also use this app called Rise to keep track of like my sleep debt. So I can kind of see like how much I'm sleeping every night. And then it basically calculates like the sleep I need and then how much in debt I am. <laughs> so that like usually on the weekends, if I see that I am in a sleep debt, then I will take a nap and usually that will take care of it. But yeah, I mean, I would say I feel really comfortable sleeping, you know, anywhere between six and seven hours. If I sleep too long, like if I sleep more than eight hours, a lot of times I feel like I'm too tired. So that's like pretty much what my sweet spot is, I would say. All right, so the last thing that I'm gonna do this morning is to go out and grab the empty trash cans and recycle whatever. They just came and picked up our stuff. All right guys, it's a little bit later now and that is a typical work from home morning for me. So I hope that you enjoyed seeing it. I just wanted to have a little chit chat briefly before we close out the video. I'm actually taking this afternoon off so I can take the kids to the pool. So I'm very excited about that. It looked like it was gonna thunderstorm there for a while, but I think we're in the clear now. So <laughs> we should be good to go. They are very excited to go to the water park this afternoon. So anyway, I wanted to chat a little bit about my, I, I guess I was gonna say my new job, but really it's not new. I mean, I've been in it for six months now because we had talked about this before. I kind of made videos when I had left my old job and started this one. And so I've gotten some questions about how everything is going. And I think overall it was probably one of the best decisions that I could have made for myself to sort of take the leap and go out and find a new position. I I was previously at a hospital for about 14 years, a little over 14 years. I worked there and so obviously when I was looking for a new position on the outside, I was just very nervous about it as I think anyone would be. I also think that a lot of us become sort of like a martyr. <laughs> for our employer and maybe martyr is like too strong of a term, but we always think like, not that we're irreplaceable, but I think sometimes we can think that of ourselves and the reality is that everyone is replaceable. And so if you're staying in a job because you feel some type of like guilt or not necessarily guilt, but like some sort of like, you know, loyalty or I guess for lack of a better term or something like that. But for me, I really had to like reframe that in my mind and 
decide to do what would be best for me. And for me, it was not only just wanting a position that was more like progressively challenging and like higher level and something that I could really use my master's degree for, but also the work-life balance aspect of it. You know, for 14 years, I had worked at um, this same hospital that was about 45 minutes from where I lived. And so I had really kind of become immune to the commute. Um, you know, being in the car almost two hours a day, it, you know, depending on the traffic, one hour one way and one hour home, uh, really kind of takes a toll <laughs> on your mood and how tired you are and your mental health and all that and just doing all of that while my kids were little was incredibly hard also for me i didn't really think about it that often because i had just always done it so it's kind of like something that i never even considered to be affecting my life but then when i removed you know that two hour commute every day it's like oh wow that's crazy <laughs> and so the position i have now is primarily a work from home position i do have to go into the office at times and i do have to go to hospitals at times and travel and things like that but it's just a lot different than what i was doing and i just feel like in general my quality of life is so much better like it's really hard to describe and i know that some of you have gotten the opportunity to work from home during the pandemic as well and you probably um you know understand what i'm saying when i talk about it in that way and it's not without challenges right because obviously i have kids that are home during the summer and so some days you know when adam is at work and i'm here trying to you know work all day and the kids are like bugging me it's like oh my god i'm gonna pull my hair out like i wish i could just go into work <laughs> you know but overall, um, it has really helped me in, in a positive way, helped my energy, helped my mindset, helped me get more sleep, just so many things. So I guess what I'm trying to say very non-succinctly is that even though I was in like a very comfortable position in terms of like knowing my job and you know being a little bit scared to leave, like really taking that leap even though I had worked there for 14 years to a totally different place and new position has been really positive for me. And so if there's something in your life that you're putting off because you're scared to do it, I would encourage you to maybe re like align your thinking think of what the benefits could be because i think so much we just have so much like allegiance to our employers and that is a good thing right it's like good to have that loyalty and it's good to have that job satisfaction but at the same time you can't make decisions for your own life based out of fear so hopefully that is maybe encouraging to some of you who are thinking about taking the leap or doing something that you're afraid to do. Overall, it has been a really positive change for me and my new coworkers, I just, I enjoy them so much. It's like a really great group of people. I feel like I got really lucky in that aspect and I feel like I am now doing something with my career that's like a pretty perfect fit for me, which is always just really fulfilling. You know, I talk about this all the time, but you guys know that YouTube is not my my primary <laughs> job and I will never have it be my primary job because I don't feel that this I don't really feel that that's my purpose in life I mean I do feel that it's like part of my purpose to like be on this platform and encourage other working moms and help them not feel so alone but as far as like being my primary purpose just to be on social media I don't feel like I am like called to do just that you know what I mean and I've worked too hard in my career and for my education to do that as well so no one has to worry about me quitting my job for YouTube anytime soon. But thank you guys for coming along with me this morning. I hope that you enjoyed this video and you got a peek into my morning routine. Now there are some days that I am a little bit more tired and I do sleep in and I roll out of bed and get dressed and get right to work. But this morning was one of those mornings more often than not that I have that's more ideal where I have time to like do some chores, get my coffee, get ready, etc. So thanks you guys again for being here. Thanks for your support. If you are in need of glasses or contacts or sunglasses, make sure you check out Warby Parker. The link is warbyparker.com slash Jen. I'll have it in the description box below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.